Welcome back to the Ink Pole Podcast, part five of the Sean Murphy interview. I'm your host, Sean Crystal. Um, today we have a good discussion. This was the, the last bit of our, our, almost the end of our, our conversation. But this is one I think is really worth having. Talking about artists who elevate the medium. Uh, I grew up in an era, I mean, I came into comics with The Dark Knight Returns, Watchmen, Mouse, uh, and, and some other like in medium changers in American publishing. So I always look for those, those projects that change things. And it just seems like we're not getting those as much anymore. Uh, the big publishers don't seem to have a vision or room for any of it. Uh, there are a handful of great independent creators working hard to do so and doing some really interesting work. Um, but it just, it seemed to be coming up that there, there were opportunities and avenues at the bigger publishers to create a real piece of art, um, something that stood the test of time. I feel like everything the big publishers are doing is just throw away material, but shut up, Sean, because this is what we're talking about on the episode. Okay. So listen, enjoy. And again, if you're a little lost, a little confused, you're picking this up here. Listen to the previous episodes. It's all part of one conversation. Let me know in the comments what you think of this, because I want to be doing more and more of this, getting back to my roots as a podcaster. All right? Cool. Peace. Who's the, who, who are the five artists who elevated the, into the, the, the medium the most in the last 20 years? Well, that's an interesting question. I mean, I would, I would just... Repeat it on camera. Five years, in the last 20 years, what? sorry? I am. Years. What do you mean on camera? No, no, because, because I, I didn't... Oh, Alan asked the... Um, sorry. What was the, the five most... Inf- not influential... The, 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 the five artists who have uh, elevated the medium the most. Five artists who have elevated the medium the most in the past... 20 years. 20 years. So 2001, so 9-11 to now. Who's been... I mean, I would, I would have to put a serious polyp in there because if you're just talking about the medium, it, it did things in ways the medium's never been used before. So I would have to put Mazza Kelly on that list. But not a lot of artists I know in Artist Alley have read that book. No, no, I agree with you. But if right. you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it, it's an impressive, like, just from, like, right. Chris Starr said to me, he was like, it is an... Um, I forget the adjective he used, but he basically was like, for the medium, this is an elevating piece. It, right. w- it wasn't a critique on, he, it wasn't anything about the narrative, the story. It was just like, as an exercise in mm-hmm. sequential art, this is the next level. Mm-hmm. And I agree with that. You go. <laughs> okay, so who would you put on the list? I, I think that... What Maz did was important, and he showed if, if there's a, uh, 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 there, uh, there's a horizontal scale of like we go from here to here. He took one of those bars and moved it way out further. Agreed. Have you ever thought about art this way? What, did you see the movie Soul, Pixar? Uh, I haven't finished it, but yeah. Okay, so to me that's like a little bit like what Maz did where he goes, you guys think about art this way, I'm gonna show you that, that I think that that's valid in academics and colleges and professors okay, will study forever. Is, I think but I don't think that it's struck enough of the culture I agree. to actually okay. make a, a, that's an fair. impact. Academically, um, yeah. then that's exactly how I would cage everything. I agree with you said. academically, but because yeah. not a lot of people have read it or, or gotten all the right, way through but it. If you, but if, in terms of elevating the medium, we have something that we can that a newer generation can study to learn how right. to do the medium differently. Like that, I think Walking Dead is more important than that as far as every day in and out meat and potato comics. Walking Dead did more for us. As um, an industry. Yeah. But not as a medium. All right, we're splitting hairs. How is it? How well, would... because, okay, the industry is how well the business is performing. 
right. how well things sell, how much of, of popular culture are you affecting. Right. The medium is the craft and the craft unto itself. Okay, I follow you. That's how I see it. No, I don't, I don't, I don't disagree too much with that. So I, that's why I put Asterius Polyp on it, because we were talking about the medium. Right. Yeah, no, he moved, I agree with you academically. It was good that that book got done, but I don't know. It's like, to me, if, if, if uh, John Bono went into the forest and did some amazing drums and no one ever heard it, it's like, okay, a handful of drummers know that that shit exists, but most musicians are not even Right, but attention. if future musicians can, are studying it right. to do more with it, right. then that's affected the medium. That's fair, and I that, wish that, more that's people. That's why I say that's yeah. why I say my answer. And I, if I was teaching a course, I would recommend all my students read Polyp, Asterius Polyp. Yeah, just to know how far the range has and been. And that's exactly why I put it on the list. Right. Because when I think about what's elevating the medium, I think about what books would I bring to a classroom. Right. I would bring it in and be like. I'm so sorry, but you all need to read this. Right, I didn't. I didn't enjoy the read. I, as a narrative, it frustrated the hell out of me. Yeah. The you know. Right. But I, I was in awe of how it was unfolding. Mm -hmm. So, Alan, given Sean's answer and my pushback, what who, what's the right way to answer this question? Are you looking for an I actually, academic actually answer? Really, really like the way both of you are answering. Fuck. It says a lot about. You know, this is why you like free jazz because you can't commit. <laughs> 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 no, he's saying we're capturing our personalities. I, you're capturing your personalities, and one of the things I really like is that you're more concerned about the industry. Right. You're more concerned about the medium. He's more concerned about himself. Go ahead. I think, I think, I think... <laughs> <laughs> there's something we should talk about over dinner. Um, I think, I think what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> I think that you should both like move ahead with that idea. Okay. You talk about the, the top five for the industry. You talk about the top five for the media. All right. Okay. So my, I guess my answer will be more of a, a top forty, uh, very clickable. If you, if this was a, an article in. Uh, but uh, let me with as far as The Walking Dead goes, it did help image in a way that it opened up creator own comics to be something they should have been and right. are now yeah. and that elevates the medium right so I, I understand that right um so you're gonna, you have your top five ready no i dude i don't know that i'm gonna have it in time for all i'm just thinking of books that that okay i've read that really um right that really impacted so i'll me. say for my if this i'm gonna answer as if this was a uh BuzzFeed article. So I'm going to go a little more surface and just mm -hmm. more entertaining. Go for I it. think uh, Ryan Otley is the top five because his connection to Robert Kirkman, who did Walking Dead. Wait, are we Dead, talking about top five artists now? His question was top five yes. artists in the last yes. 20 years. Oh, I, yes. I, I thought you said I words. Said top, I, said, okay. I said the artists, yes. Sir. Okay, okay. Yeah, I love Ryan. I mean, Ryan blows my mind. Yeah. I mean, yeah. ability, uh, I mean, a good human being is helpful and all that stuff on this. He could He's, still be an asshole. He'd still be on the list. He he is able to skirt that line of like hitting the like the bubblegum pop stuff. Yeah. But artists are also like damn. Artists artists love it. He, yeah. There's, that book is a hard book to draw. There's a lot of asks that the writer had like drawing explosions and laser beams and aliens. Invincible. Yeah. Yeah. Not invincible. Sorry. And then the fact that that's been turned into a series that is really really good and that they made it look like Ryan's art is I, that's why for me for many different reasons inside and outside of his control. Otley would be up there for me. Uh, yeah. For top okay. Five. That's a good one. Okay. So I got to rechange, restructure my thinking. I just yeah. was thinking of books I've read. Yeah. That's that's your problem. Um, but you said Mazzucchelli, and I think that that's well, right. Very well, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to retract Mazzucchelli. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just thinking. Um, I think Sean, honestly, I'd put you on there. I think you have excited uh, a look in comics that caught fire when you stepped on the scene. I think you trailblazed a lot. I, I, when I started, I remember a lot of people, uh, whether they knew it or not, swiping my stuff. And I don't, I'm not offended by that at all. I think I used to swipe Jim Lee, and it's, it's cool. And if I can be responsible for getting people into uh, heavy inks, traditional brushes. No doubt. You, zip -a -tone, I'll give that to and you. And like a punk rock twist, then I'll take it. I uh, can't tell you how many people... Through, because of Ink Pulp Instruction, because of the podcast, and through cons, come up to me and they're like, I love 
inks. It's you. It's yeah. Murphy. It's Mateo. It's Eric. Mm -hmm. They mentioned Dan in there. Yep. And it's like there's a small, I mean, now you put James Heron, Daniel Warren Johnson on yep. the list, but yep. it's growing now. But, it, you, but yeah. it was a much smaller pool that started with you coming in and we were all kind of in the crew together, but you caught fire. And that, that really kind of blade, like people who, like you were saying, can't articulate what they love about art, they're not artists, were now becoming very um, seduced by what we were all doing with ink. Right. Yeah, it was, a, it was sort of getting back to basics on raw inks. And I didn't really think I was doing anything new. I was just bringing my favorite stuff, like the way that uh, Ashley Wood inked or Zafino mm -hmm. or uh, Gene Cohen and some of the looser stuff and Nolan. Like I wasn't, I, and I'm not being falsely modest, I, I just was taking the greatest hits and spinning it through my filter. Mm -hmm. Like people are like, oh, you use fingerprints for rendering, you invented that. I'm like, no, uh, Sinkavich did it before me, Caveman did it before him. Right, right, It's, right. it's not a thank you, but <laughs> really it's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. That, I appreciate that, but I don't. I think that's giving me too much credit because I'm just I don't I'm think spitting so. out the best I, that th I've there collected. There was a shift. I mean, you're talking about the bigger picture of of the the industry and how the artists affected the industry and the medium. There was a shift. Right. There was a big shift when you hit it. Well, uh, that definitely happened. But yeah, the past twenty years, you mentioned a name we have to put on there, Bill Sinkovich. He was important back in the eighties. Yeah, but uh, okay. For right. me, I mean, he's, yeah, he yeah, always actually, deserves I forget how old royalty. I am. <laughs> so uh, for the last twenty years, yeah, 20 I'm going to go. Right, okay. I'm going to go That's Bruce Tim. Yes, even though he was more '90s with the Batman animated series, his legacy lasted from the last. He was so impactful in the early 2000s with uh, Justice League Unlimited and all mm -hmm. that stuff. And he got no doubt. Darwin going, and there are mm -hmm. so many children of of Bruce Tim out there, myself mm -hmm. included, some to some degree. I think Bruce is a massive influence art-wise and how it no went doubt. with, with the animation no doubt at all. stuff, too. And he came into comics and showed everyone how it's done, too. Yeah. Don't forget, he won an Emmy and an Eisner for the same story the yeah. same year. Yeah. For Mad Love. Yeah. That, no Are you going to interview done. him, man? I, I don't even know him. I'd love to get him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, I wish I knew well enough to contact him, but I don't. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> So we have uh, Otley. Well, I have Otley and Bruce Tim. Um, I mean, I'm agreeing with you. I guess we'll compile it together. You said me. I'll, I'll accept that. Okay. Um, so who are these other two? You said Mazu Kelly. Well, you said Mazu Kelly. Okay, you're not gonna you're not gonna get on board with me on Mazu Kelly. All right. Um, Last 20 years since 9/11. Okay, and we got should we we should be thinking outside of America. We shouldn't just be doing America, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, so you said we should not be so uh, Western American focused. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, we yeah. shouldn't just be limiting our thought to it. So I'm answering in, from my, on my radar is generally Marvel DC. Right, right. Comic shops in 48 North America. I mean, that's, right. I mean, this, the guy that just did, drew Jazz Maynard is amazing. Yeah, yeah, I, I have his Bernard stuff. Bernard something, yeah. I forget. Uh, Bernard's the last name, isn't it? Blacksad. Black said, Gornito. Gornito, Juanjo Gordino is insane. Mm -hmm. But that mm -hmm. go, that's a whole other list for me. I'm just sort of focusing okay. on the local guys okay. and girls. Okay. But mostly guys. <laughs> uh, who else? We got three. Hmm. Man, now you're going to see a lot of pausing years. and editing. <laughs> no, there's no editing. We're you gonna, got any? One in mind? We're going to sit in some uncomfortable I mean, pauses. No. Well, I mean, I, is, is, how old is Bone now? Bone was done in the 90s, but I mean, he, he Bone started it. in the 90s. Yeah, but it, it came in... I, mean, I think Jeff Smith, Smith could be in there. Yeah. We'll yeah. go Jeff Smith. Yeah, I think that's an important one to put in there. Yeah, I'll go Jeff Smith. You, actually, you got me into Bone. Did I? Yeah. And okay. you got me to read the book. <laughs> <laughs> that was a slight dick, dick joke. It didn't quite work, but whatever. Here we are. It just fell flat. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the whiskey. Um, all right. Well, look. Oh, wait, five, number five. We need a fifth one. Yeah, just to end the list. Is there a... Throw a name out, Alan. Uh, you know what I'm going to add to the list? Stuart Eminem. Yeah. Yeah. Because he could do those giant Marvel stories hmm. so fucking well. 
and still and then do something like next wave which is so alternative yeah and i'll put him on there yeah he's so good at adapting at different styles yeah Absolutely. Like, I, I've never met him, but I imagine he's got multiple personality disorder because he's I able know. to I compass... met him. He came to SCAD. He's just yeah. the sweetest, quiet like, yeah. guy. Yeah. Of course he's sweet. It'd be easier if he was an asshole. Right. Like, no, have a he's sweet. Like he's just always drawing. It's just like everywhere we went, he had a sketchbook and was drawing. Right. Yeah. And in fact, like one of his drawings of me at a lunch ended up in one of his published sketchbooks. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Did he draw you with those glasses? Uh, no, this is... This is BG before glasses. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's close this chapter down because we yep. got another one to explore. We'll do it in a second. Thank you for watching. This is the 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 ink ink with the ink pole podcast. Comics. Hip hop, life, 